The Heidelberg DWL-66 Plus Laser Writer is located in Bay 4 inside the Quattro Nanofab. To use the tool, you will need to complete the training for the tool, and to reserve the tool in the IRIS system. The tool can process any samples ranging from 5mm by 5mm up to 7 inch masks. You do not need to be in the lab while the tool is running. The tool can write photo masks such as 5 inch or 7 inch photo masks. It can also direct write on samples. With resists like SPR220, S1800, and SU8. It can also write on any substrate larger than 5 by 5 millimeters. This includes substrates including, but not limited to, silicon and SOI wafers in pieces, diamond, and glass slides. When it comes to making photo masks, here are some of our recommendations. If your minimum feature size is 5 microns or larger, we recommend using AZ1500 masks. If your minimum feature size is between 2 to 5 microns, we recommend using IP3500 masks with a soda lime substrate. They're slightly more expensive than the AZ1500 masks and are recommended for smaller features. If you plan to print masks with features smaller than 2 microns, we suggest to use masks with IP3500 resist and a quartz substrate. We also have the following recommendations for the right head. The 10mm right head is the default right head for the tool. This right head can handle minimum feature sizes of 2 microns or rounded features with a radius of greater than 5 microns. The 40mm right head is the fastest right head available, but also has the poorest resolution. We recommend using it for minimum feature sizes of 10 microns or larger. We also recommend asking for the right head change to the 40mm right head if you print three or more masks at a time. That will simplify the logistics of getting your masks made. If you will use the 40mm right head, set the N over mode to path by path and the number of passes to four. You'll learn how to do that when you're using Beamer during the Beamer training. If your minimum feature size is less than two microns, or you have rounded features with a radius of less than 5 microns, we suggest using the 2mm right head. It's the slowest right head of the bunch, but it offers the best resolution. As a last, very important note, if you'd like to use one of the other right heads, you must notify staff to request a right head change at least 24 hours before your reservation. If you wait until your reservation to request the right head change, it is not guaranteed that staff will be able to help change the right head for you, and you may end up having to cancel your reservation. To request the right head change, please email qnf-process at lists.cs.upenn.edu. In addition to this training, we offer other video-based trainings which you may need in order to run this tool. We've included links to these trainings in the description of this video. CAD training using Layout Editor. Data preparation training using Beamer. This training covers how to prepare right job data for this tool, so you will need to take it in order to use the Heidelberg. As well as post-processing photo masks. This includes development, chromatch, and resist strip of photo masks. This particular training covers use of the Heidelberg DWL66 Plus for photo mask making, and direct writing on whole wafers for the first processing layer. This training does not cover direct writing on pieces, aligning your write to a previous layer on your sample, or changing the write head. If you have any questions or would like to request additional training for the tool, please contact qnf-process at lists.cs.upenn.edu. The Heidelberg DWL66 Plus is interlocked through the mouse and keyboard. If the screen won't come on, the tool is probably not logged in through Iris. Check to make sure that you have in fact logged in through Iris.